my beautiful soul family and so welcome uh you know that i always do a mini med meditation before we start the reading so i'm gonna invoke of course archangel metatron to come down with the universal grid with love light and protection from the holy spirit i'm gonna invoke mother gaia to be here to sustain the reading and healing and to keep us grounded i'm gonna invoke archangel uriel to clear my energy and space i'll do the same thing for you I'm going to invoke Archangel uh, Raphael to send healing energy to those who want to embrace it. I'm going to invoke Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, I'm going to invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequencies of the collective uh, with intentions. But all you need to do is, like, if you haven't had a hard day, if you, you feel stressed, all you need to do is take a deep breath in, release while I'm doing the singing bowl, and I'll take care of the rest, okay? So let's get started. Archangel Uriel, to clear my energy and space and yours as well. Archangel Raphael, to send healing energy to those that want to embrace it. Archangel Michael for a breakthrough in your life and for the collective. And last but not least, Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with love, light, protection, harmony, balance, peace, happiness, returning to good health and abundance in any shape, way, or form. And so it is. Oh, great. Let's put this on the side here. Um, so I just want you to take a moment uh, just to feel uh, the embrace that I'm, my mom and I are sending to all of you here. Uh, we love you all very much. And my mom wants to tell you that she will and she is still praying for you three times a day here on YouTube and on the collective. So if there's any messages you want to relate to my mom, uh, please leave it in the comments below. We're very thankful and very appreciative for all the love and support that you have been giving us. Uh, I just want to mention just a few things underneath the video because I keep getting a lot of people asking me all the time so if you're looking for uh crystals uh, 10 to 20 percent off there's two websites there that under my name you can get 10 to 20 percent off of crystals they're beautiful websites uh for those of you that want to follow me on social media uh, there's uh, it's all there underneath the video including the healers and other readers that i recommend and also meditations that i recommend as well is all there and uh, also for those of you that want to write to me on uh write to me there's also a p.o box number okay so let's get started with your readings hi aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading this is from march 29 to april 4 2021 i hope you had a great start of the week and uh, i hope that you will have a great weekend don't forget about the contest that we are running here on my channel from last week to this week whoever views their video the most and likes the most will be going up on Monday as an element and also as a sign. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I just want to say a great thank you for all your beautiful messages, Aquarius. And those of you that leave me messages uh, every week, uh, I know your energy, I feel your energy, and um, I'm very, very ha ha happy and also humbled by this experience, like I said before. So now let's get started with your reading. Okay, Aquarius, what is your affirmation of the week? From March 29th to April 4th. Let's look at your affirmation. You have death. It's not a physical death. Don't be scared. This is death and rebirth energy. So your affirmation is, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings, and so it is. Now we're going to look into Gaia Oracle. 
to see what's in store for you and also look at the numerology now today while i was driving around not paying attention to anything just driving to where i had to go i seen so many numbers popping in front of me because i was saying okay i have to do the readings i have to do the readings for gemini for aquarius and libra and if there's any signs that you want to tell me and all these numbers like 64 46 which is a 10 which is a new beginning then i kept seeing the twos uh the sevens a lot of threes a lot of four energy a lot of four angels being around you all right so it's beautiful 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 so aquarius let's look at what gaia oracle has in store for you one Right. let's look at this together the first card that popped out was number 25 and which equals to a seven it's about spirituality uh liberation and you have a beautiful dove okay liberation very peaceful energy and this is breaking free from negative attachment in the recent past till now you're breaking free from um negative attachment then you got number 40 which is a four and it's about the yin yang energy it's about creating harmony through balance and last but not least you got number 24 which equals to a six and it talks about prosperity and you got eternal love happiness harmony and fulfillment you have the rainbow you have the sun and the infinity number there. that's really beautiful energy that's coming in together for you okay so now let's get, let's get started with your reading this reading is for um, Aquarius Sun and anywhere that you have Aquarius in the chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates 100%, claim it. But if it does not resonate, look at your rising. Look at your moon, which is about emotions. Venus is about love and finances. And don't forget to look at your North Node energy as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you where you are, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, what is crowning you, your immediate future, what is hidden from you, and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which spirit wants me to clarify. So your cards are ready. I already pre-shuffled them before. And let's get started with your reading, Aquarius. I'll show you the card in a second. All right, I'm going to take my energy clearing spray, spray here, spray for you, and spray for me. All right, overall energy you have is the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is about you removing the veil from your eyes, okay? And it's about uncrossing your arms and opening up that heart chakra of yours to love. There is a, 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 a path that you uh, will need to choose from. Where you are now, this is the first card that came out you came into your own reading or you're dealing with another aquarius energy here this is about wishing upon that star okay make your wishes coming true and this is about uh faith and hope being restored within you what's crossing you is the six of swords energy so you're going through a process right now from difficulty moments to a more calmer place where you can heal and rest this talks about some type of relocation or moving or vacationing for some of you Okay, what Spirit wants you to focus on is this Princess of Swords. So there's new communication coming in, new ideas taking place, okay? And this could be happening on social media at this time or email or some type of some type of communication. In the recent past till now, you had the Six of Wands reversed. So there's something here that did not uh, go as planned, okay? In ter terms of success or in a, a relationship or whatever it is for you. What is uh, crowning you is the Ten of Wands reversed, 
So the Ten of Wands reverse is something is uh, completely being put off your shoulders, okay? Where maybe one time you're carrying a lot on your shoulders, okay? This is like not carrying a lot on your shoulders any longer, okay? You're not going to have like the world on top of your shoulders. In the immediate future, you got the Ten of Swords. So you got two tens on the ground. And the Ten of Swords reversed is also the same concept where once maybe uh, you had to go through something that was very difficult, a lot of difficulty, being in the dark a lot, not knowing, uh, something that brought you to your knees and there was light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel that there's been a lot of workings done on this. So it's something that was a pre in the past, not, it's just showing up as saying that you don't have this any longer. In what is supporting you is Gemini energy, lover's energy. This could be a lover, a friend, could be anybody, okay? This is a, could be a union, a balanced union coming in for you. But there is a choice that has to be made. In what support, what is being hidden from you is the Queen of Cups energy. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be the sign. But this is, talks about someone being emotionally available. Someone that is able to express themselves. Very nurturing, and, nurturing energy. Also very psychic energy as well. And in the hopes and fears, you got the eight of coins where you've been working on something, okay? There's some type of working here where you've been putting a lot of energy into. And in the possible future, you got the world reverse. So there is unfinished business from the past, okay? Not coming to completion. So now we're going to look at the cards together. We're going to clarify. I'm just going to shuffle the cards three times. Two and three. Perfect. And let's start clarifying the cards for you. Okay, so look, let's look at the Two of Swords here together, okay? Why is the Two of Swords here for Aquarius? This card wanted to come out. Okay. The Magician. You got the Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, and you got the Seven of Wands. Okay. There's a second chance. Jupiter is coming in to give you a second chance. This is something that's destined and the wheel turning in your favor, meaning that there's going to be inevitable changes taking place. This is something that's destined, it's faded, and there's also luck here, okay? You've been manifesting this, Aquarius. You have all the elements here to bring all your dreams to fruition. And whatever the situation is, whatever the obstacles were, whatever that you had to fight for to get what you wanted, you overcame this with the Seven of Wands. Okay, you just need to remove the veil from your eyes, open that heart chakra to make that, in this, to choose that path or decision that you have to make. Now let's look at the star card. Okay, this is the first card that came out. You got to look at this. Beautiful. The Ten of Pentacles comes with a star card. This could be about unexpected money coming in stability inheritance money but it's about stability maybe it's about a union it could be about business it could be about business it's about uh it's about changes that are going to be taking place it's a start of something new also that's going to be a strong foundation towards your pentacles as well or between two people so you got the start card the ten of pentacles oops let me take that card the eight of wands so you got eight eighty-eight here, the six of swords, and you got la luna. Okay, Neptune energy here. Okay, let's look at this. You got the ten of these three cards here, the star card with the ten of pentacles and the eight of wands. A lot of beautiful messages coming in. The, in maybe fast-paced messages as well. This is about stability. It's about a dream coming true in a situation. Okay, and again, you got number 66, Prosperity. This talks about a transition from a troubled place to a more calmer place. Maybe relocation and moving for some of you. And with La Luna energy, this is Neptune and Pisces. Okay, there's a lot of fears in this situation. It's our love or fear. It's love versus fear. And this is exactly what Spirit is telling me here for some of you, okay? It's love versus fear, right? Because um, uh, there could be deception, not seeing something... That's really there, okay? Uh, there's there's a lot of the distortions when there's the Neptune energy distortions, um, maybe deceptions. Going through a, a, a pa you're going through a passage here, okay? And something will be revealed to you. Now let's look at the Six of Swords and what's crossing you in the reading. You got the Two of Wands reversed. You got again Aquarius energy and Ida de Denare. Oh, King of Pentacles. 
beautiful energy here. Okay, you were with the two of wands reversed. Okay, it shows that all of you have been planning, you know, planning about where you wanted to go. If you let's say for those of you that want to travel the world, or for those of you that have plans, and this is about taking action. So this is something about taking action. If, if this has to do with relocating or moving, okay, uh, there's taking there's someone that's taking action here. Again, you got La Stella, the star card. You came in. This maybe you're dealing with another Aquarius. This is you. This is very emphasized because they gave you the card twice. And this shows to me that whatever that you've been dreaming about is going to come true. You. This is about restoring faith and hope in a situation. And you got the Red de Denari, which is the King of Pentacles. This is someone, this could be someone, this could be you in energy, Aquarius, or you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is someone that's very successful, very in a reliable, very in security, victory here, and grounded. Beautiful energy, okay? Now let's look at the Princess of Swords and what Spirit wants you to focus on here. There's a start of some type of new communication. Okay, you got the Knight of, um, of Wands, Cavaliere di Bastone. You got the Fool. You got, hold on. Okay. You got the Knight of Swords reversed and the Diablo reversed. Okay, so which is the um, the Capricorn card, which is the Devil card reversed. Okay, so what they're showing me is the some type of uh, Cavaliere di uh, Bastoni in the Italian uh, in the Italian cards. It's about someone that is going to be changing residence. Okay, so there is some type of communication here, some type of action, or so there is someone coming in. Okay, with action here, there's action going towards the future, like, you know, in the immediate future, okay? It's about taking a leap of faith in a situation here. And with the devil card reversed, okay, this is about freedom, freedom of fears, of uh, freedom of uh, maybe addictions or patterns or behaviors or people, unhealthy people. There's freedom, and for others of you, this could also be uh, a divorce that took place, but it talks about freedom, Capricorn energy and with the Knight of Swords reversed here, it shows that uh, that there's not going to be at this time any communication coming in through it, or maybe there you are not bringing communication to someone from your past, and this is what I feel. If especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn energy, okay. So um, this is let's look at the Six of Swords, the Six of Wands in the recent past till now. You got the chariot reversed, cancer energy. You got the uh, judgment card and the ace of uh, of uh, swords energy. So something that was not successful in the past could have been business, love, whatever your situation was. Okay, uh, this is about someone being idle, not being be able to take control of a situation moving forward, being in difficult moments. And uh, yes, Iguodizio is, is a judgment. Okay, there's a revelation. There's change coming in there for you in the recent past till now. Some of you maybe already went through or some of you will be going through it where the, uh, the, the divine is coming in to bring you with the ace of spades here to bring you clarity, to remove the fog, a lot of creative ideas, a lot of communication, clear focused communication through the heart chakra is what I see. Now, let's look at the ten of wands reversed in what's crowning you. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed? You got the Page of Pentacles. There is an offer here. The Ace of Asobi Denari. That's beautiful. You got the Ace of Pentacles. And you got I Papa, which is the elephant. This is about this is about an offer coming in. So there's an offer coming in. This could also be an apology or some type of closure for some of you. The beginning of a start of something where maybe it could be a job or something where it's money or some type of gift is coming in to help you along the way. Of course, you even got the divine coming in to give you some type of money or some type of gift. Okay. And with the elephant, it just talks about where it's about learning. The learning your life lessons, okay, and hitting a new paradigm shift. A lot of you have been studying about your spirituality, what spirituality means to you. For others of you, you got the keys here. And it's about also maybe for some of you, it could be also marriage here, okay? Now, let's look at the Ten of Swords. Reversed. You got the Hermit, Virgo energy. Again, unfinished business. 
the world reversed. You got the, uh, the world reversed twice. For some of you, I feel there's someone from the past here, okay? And there's also a new person, whether it's about love or, or finances. It's very clear. Let's see. You got the Ten of Swords reversed. You got the Hermit, the world reversed. And again, you got the King and Queen of Cups energy. Two people that love each other here and two people that are emotionally available. Okay, so, so someone here is uh, still going through the dark night of the soul. Okay, they, they, they released most of it, but they're still probably going in and out of it sometimes. It happens because sometimes you could be feeling good for a couple of days or weeks and then you feel like you need to go back within and you need to release. And sometimes it really feels like you're going to a death and rebirth energy. Okay, uh, taking time out from uh, people, friends. It's about following your own path, introspection here. Okay, reevaluating everything at this time. And there is unfinished, unfinished business, okay? A life cycle that's still not finished in a situation here for you. But with the Lady Copa, it's showing me that there is someone emotionally available, able to express themselves. It could be a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. It doesn't have to be. But this is someone that put a lot of work into them, okay? And being able to... I, I feel more like earth energy and water also. Earth and water energy here. Now, let's look at the lovers and what is uh, supporting you right now. This could be a, a union, okay? A very balanced union. So what is the lovers? Gemini energy. You got the Nine of Wands, the Knight of the Nadi. Okay, and these two cards want to come out, so let's look at them together. Okay, you've been forging ahead in a situation. Okay, it's been tough. Okay, but you're still standing and still going. Some of you also have set up high boundaries as well around you. Okay, there is a wish fulfillment here. A lot of you want something really bad. And what I do see is that you're working on something. You got the eight of coins twice here. Okay, there's some type of energy. You've been putting a lot of energy into this situation. And what I see is that there is someone coming towards you, but they're taking their time. This could be, uh, you know, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn energy. Uh, they're just taking their time. They're reevaluating. They're really pl planning ahead. Now, let's say this is you. Okay, this has to do with business or, or, or your marriage. You're just planning ahead and trending very carefully. You're not just jumping into it. You're taking your time. Or, like I said, there's someone else here that is taking their time coming towards you, whether it's a love or finances. Now, let's look at the Queen of Cups and what is being hidden from you. You got the Queen of Cups. You got that. Okay, so right now you have Lore and La Regina de Denari, which is the King and Queen of Pentacles. And you got the King and Queen of Cups here. Really nice energy. Okay, very successful energy. Victorious, grounded, worked very hard to maintain uh, security here. Uh, worked very hard to get what they, they had to get. Okay, what they, what they worked so hard. You got the King of. Lode de Spade, which is the king of swords. Being very clear, fo focused about your finances or where you're going. Okay, and not feeling stuck and in your mind about a situation anymore. Because you're going to get the clarity with the king of, of uh, swords energy. Especially if this has to do with business, love, whatever it is. Okay, it's about, uh, it's about seeing clearly. It's about a lot of creative communication. It's about someone that has a lot of wisdom, very into intellectual energy here, very in not being stuck, okay? Not being stuck in the mind, uh, not overanalyzing in a situation here. Now let's look at the eight of coins and the hopes and fears. You got the page of swords. The Knight of Cups and the Ten of Swords reversed. I feel like some of you are dealing with someone that you're mirroring someone else here for some of you. Um, there's been a lot of work here being done, energy being put on ideas, okay? Creative ideas taking place. It's about communication, the start of some type of communication here. This could be on social media. Uh, something that took place in the past where uh, you went through something very karmic here. And you've healed yourself. You helped yourself heal. And with the Knight of Cups energy, I do see someone coming in wanting to offer love, wanting to romance. This could be you or them, okay? But there's someone here that's emotionally available. Now, let's look at the world card reversed in the possible future. What is the, what is the world reversed about here for 
Aquarius. Got the Six of Cups, someone from the past or something of the past here. It's about having nostalgic uh, memories. Maybe some of you, like, it's like uh, you're, you're trying to liberate all your negative attachments. That could be it, too. You're trying to bring yourself into balance. You got the Regina di, di Spade, and you got the Death card reversed. Okay, so I got the King and Queen of Swords, the King and Queen of Cups, and the King and Queen of Pentacles, okay? Uh, what I see here is that, uh, you know, it's about uh, accepting, realizing, releasing, Something of the past here. And with the Regina de Spade, okay, this is someone that's thinking in their mind, okay, their mind. They're not taking decisions from the heart. They're, you know, it's like head over the heart energy here. Very discerned energy. And there is a Scorpio energy here. There is some type of resistance taking place, not going with the flow. Um, it's like someone is scared of change. Uh, scared that there's too many, like there's fears in the situation here, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, they're scared that um, some, some I don't know who this is, but someone here with the Five of Swords is thinking that, uh, you know, that uh, whatever the situation is, that uh, someone does not have their back. And um, I think it's also for some of you, it's uh, the way you're thinking as well. I'm not saying that this for all of you, but the Spirit is saying some of you are thinking in this pattern that some people are not, uh, they're out there to get you. And um, they're, you know, they're deceptive and, uh, you know, they don't have your back, okay? Uh, but there's a resistance here to go with the flow and then just understand that you, there's a transformation that has to go through. And uh, it's because some of you are, 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 are very discerned uh, and uh, you're, you're choosing your mind to make, uh, you know, um, you're not going in that heart chakra of yours. And I think that what has to come into completion and in full circle is about understanding and letting go of the past of these type of energies that you were having okay so this is what spirit is saying and underneath the deck you have the hangman this is about surrendering okay because there's been something that's been stagnant here it's about surrendering okay so some type of surrendering that has to take place here because uh, like i see i i'm seeing is that you aquarius or vice versa or both whoever this, this situation is about uh, you're almost going through the same thing, being in the dark night of the soul or being in a cocoon. It's like a caterpillar that goes into a, you know, a cocoon stage and then goes into the butterfly energy. Okay, so that is your reading. And now let's look at your um, crystals that you will need for this week. card you got is moonstone live your purpose moonstone next one you got is tourmalinated quartz or tourmaline tourmaline quartz or uh, it, but it has uh, I, it has black and white around it so it's a uh, specks of uh, white and black in this tourmalated quartz and it's get out of your own way get out of your own way so these are the two crystals that you will need for this week and for as long as you need them now let's look at the sacred geometry and see what is in store for you. Aquarius. Here we go. So you got a frequency first frequency is the 852 energy and it's number 30 okay and this is about intuition and wisdom color wearing the color purple or even having amethyst around you when you meditate is amazing okay so 852 frequency here you could go on youtube i choose uh i go on meditative mind i just love them uh okay and then the next one you got is number 38 which equals to an 11 and it's about having gratitude for everything in your life, okay? So it's about acknowledging all your blessings, okay? And because as soon as you start acknowledging all your blessings, there's a shift that takes place, all right? So now we're going to look into the Romance Angels with Ask Angels. So if there's a question that you want to ask, 
about a particular situation or person, ask the question. Don't try to ask the question many times over differently. Uh, and you'll know which card will come out for you because you'll feel it in your heart chakra. If that's yours, okay, you're going to get the intuitive feeling. So uh, normally I take out six cards. So let's see. Aquarius. Okay. So first I will start with the Romance Angels and then we'll go to the Angels. The first one is Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Maybe you don't have the same views. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. The next then from the angels you got not at the right not the right time not the right time you don't need to worry you no need to worry and they're saying that you're ready okay now I'll we'll take a card from the universe to see what the universe wants to tell you All right, let's see here. It says, the more love and care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. And this is a message from the universe. Now we're going to take a card from Archangel Michael to see what uh, what the prayer you have for with our Archangel Michael. So, one message is focus upon divine and perfect health. Focus upon divine and perfect health. And your prayer is, God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. And so it is. Now, we're going to take a card from the White Light Oracle, where I will read you a passage and give you a healing as well. Okay, and you can come back anytime to hear the healing. time all right there we go you got a frequency card so you got two frequency cards you got the 852 frequency okay and you got number 15 so 15 is an activation number uh, and you got the spirit there of 396. So 396 hertz is your second frequency card. Okay, don't forget to jot that down. And let's look at this together. Oh, maybe some of you, the bear is your animal totem. And this is the passage. You are being healed from guilt and fear. Such emotions will no longer steal your personal power or dissuade you from confidence, happiness, and realizing your own worth. No matter how unlikely it may seem, you are going to emerge from a spiritual winter into light and life. The divinely ordained time for your liberation, healing, and emergence is much closer than you realize. Abundant blessings are stirring and shall soon manifest. Yes, it is. And the 396 frequency here is deeply nurturing and protective. It is about the heart frequency. Okay? Of the universal mother protecting her young so now let's look at the healing process here okay so um so for those of you that are lying down you could continue staying lying down if not you could sit down okay now you're going to repeat this prayer after me and say amen at the end so i will repeat it very slow so that you could repeat after me and then I will say one more time, and the transmission will be the same, okay? So, um, I invoke the healing frequency of unconditional love and wisdom of the Divine Mother. May my body, mind, and soul 
be sheltered in a sanctuary of protective grace to fully relax and deeply heal. Amen. I invoke the healing frequency of unconditional love and with wisdom of the Divine Mother. May my body, mind, and soul be sheltered in the sanctuary of protective grace to fully relax and deeply heal. Now it is time for you to relax. You can play sacred music or simply listen to your own breath flowing in and out. If the room can be darkened, this can promote restfulness too. If you are tired, you will likely fall asleep rather than simply rest. That is okay. Gently ease your muscles into a state of relaxation, allowing them to become heavy and settled. Allow your awareness to continue to drift within until your mind begins to let go. Your mind may like to rest within your body or on the breath or to flow away in reverie. Rest for as long as you choose. Emerging from hibernation can take some time and adjustment. Move slowly if needs be. Ground and nourish and hydrate your body. You have completed your healing process. So my beautiful Aquarius, I hope that you enjoy your healing reading. And don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. Everything will be okay. Love always wins. Love is where all is. Love is everything. And uh, take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.